Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey kids, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? Almost the end of January already. Can you believe it? It's just crazy talk, but I like it. That means spring is that much closer to springing. I love it. Love it. Can't wait for the spring. Which leads me to, if y'all want a reading and you've been waiting to get a reading from me, now is a pretty good time because when spring comes and those tax returns come in, my schedule blows up. And not only does my schedule blow up, but I'm out riding my horse all the time, every time, every chance I get. So if y'all have been waiting on a reading for me, now is a really good time because I got lots of time on my hands. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. If you're coming back to the channel again, thank you. Y'all do me a solid and subscribe, okay? I've been told that I need to actually ask for that, so <laughs> subscribe, okay? If you like what you hear, subscribe. All right, you guys, give me a chance to channel. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards and sew together a story. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy about All right, you guys, we open up this reading with death. Death is an ending, right? When you die, your physical body ends and you return back to your source energy, right? Your soul. Okay, same soul, same soul that was here back in the day, same soul that's going to pick you up on the other side of all of this is the same soul that lives within you right now. Okay, so what death is saying is that you need to have a soul understanding that there is a huge, gigantic, meaningful, turning point love relationship about to come into your life. Okay, but how, what you get from it will depend upon how you participate in it. Okay, this could be the be all to end all forever relationship, or this could be just another duplication of yet the same cycle in your life over and over and over again. Okay, because there is someone here who has some blocked off emotions because things didn't go their way in the past. But what this particular person needs to understand is that the lack of success in previous relationships has a lot to do with you. Okay, has a lot to do with you. Death says it's time to turn over a new leaf. It's time to change. It's time to transform. It's time for the old you, the old cycles, the old way that you have always engaged in relationships in the past to change. So this transformative new relationship can take root in your life. All right. All right. What's happening? Well, Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is two things here. This is about who you're going to be, okay? You're going to be a queen of pentacles to a king of pentacles, a queen of wands to a king of wands, an empress to an emperor. That's what we got going on in this spread right here, okay? That's what this relationship is going to be about. However, this queen of pentacles, more importantly, is whoever this particular person is about seeing their worth, about seeing your worth, owning your shit, and finding your true self-worth, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles, she owns her shit and she knows her worth, okay? Justice comes on top of it and says, this is in your best interest. This is going to bring justice to all of the pain and sorrow and grief that you have had with relationships in the past. This is aha, I understand, I know what to fix, how to fix it, and I'm going to fix it so I can meet this relationship from a place of healing instead of a place of discourse, okay? All right, Ace of Cups, brand new love is on the horizon, brand new. 
okay? Not from your past, not somebody that, that, that you've already experienced. Brand new love is about to come into your life, okay? All right. However, the Ace of Cups is also about your emotional growth. And this whole reading is a roadmap to how to get you to emotionally grow so you can be healed when you enter into this relationship. Because you see all of your past relationships, um, you've been unhealed. Okay? unhealed. There's a certain aspect of this person in this reading that is holding on to some bullshit like we all do. And I know a lot of my readings are about someone holding on to stuff, but y'all have to understand I'm a channeler. And every time I do a reading on YouTube, right? Because it's general, it's just like mass. The tarot was never intended to be read to an auditorium full of people, okay? So I'm doing my best here to help whomever it is needs the help at that particular time in that reading, okay? So if this isn't you, that's okay, because this is someone, all right? And this someone needs to pull their emotional bullshit together, sort through it, so they can carry on into a divinely orchestrated path of their life. Uh huh. So Ace of Cups, brand new love is coming to you. However, we need some emotional growth from you in order for you to participate effectively in this relationship. This relationship is going to be the Ten of Cups. You, if you will follow your soul's guiding, which is part of why you are turning tuning in to this reading okay whoever clicked on this you were motivated to click on it for some reason and i know it wasn't my goofy smile okay motivated to click on this for some reason and this is the message for you if it hits you it's yours if it misses you it's not yours okay so whomever this is the universe is trying to bring into your life tenfold of what you have lost in your silly human understanding of how to pick a partner and restore to you tenfold to, to display to you the awesomeness that happens when you follow your intuition. Same soul from back in the day is the same soul that's going to pick up when you die, death, okay? Same soul that's going to pick up when you die. It's the same soul that runs through your life right now. And if you will follow the soul guidance of your intuition, which is your soul speaking to your consciousness, your soul has direct root and source energy. Source energy is the Akashic Records, okay? Um the, the it's all connected together and they're saying we will show you the way to have what it is that you've never been able to create on your own there is there is the path of your best and highest good okay ace of swords says let's have an aha moment aha moment that I need to get some stuff right so I can step into where I need to step into eight of cups you got to leave behind a sense that you're not good enough. That's the root problem of whomever I am speaking to. You must walk away from apathy. You must walk away from settling or compromising because you think you're not good enough and that you can't get any better. Whether that's an existing relationship right now for you or this is the emotional basis by which you have created your past relationships. It's, it's, a, it's, an, it's a feeling of settling. And the guy in this Eight of Cups, he's not settling anymore. He understands his worth, just like the Queen of Pentacles. He understands his worth, and he's like, mm, no, no more. Mm -mm. You can have it all. You can have it all. Seven of Swords in reverse talks about breaking free from a futile mindset. To the Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse talks about, talks about giving up, okay? A futile mindset of giving up 
Two of Cups in reverse on relationships. Six of Wands needs to be overcome. This is the battle. This is the battleground. This is what needs to be overcome. This imposter syndrome that is all over this reading. That's why they're telling you to know your worth in the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. They're telling you to emotionally level up in the Ace of Cups. They're telling you have an aha moment in the Ace of Swords. Because there is a battle that needs to be overcome. What's that battle? Um, unreciprocated bad relationships, unviable relationships in your past, given up, right? It's a futile, it's a futile to engage. And the Eight of Cups is about learning to walk away from compromise, which is what you have done in the past. Okay. Justice in reverse. Again, justice, justice over here, right? Justice in reverse. This is the injustice. This is not in your best and highest good. And, and, and the injustice is that you are lacking accountability. See, justice over here is about being accountable. Queen of Pentacles, owning your shit, knowing your self-worth, coming to terms with the fact that you're not perfect and you have flaws that need a little bit of attention from you in order to straighten you out, to set you on the course that you're supposed to be on. Okay, the the injustice at the uh, at the at the current moment in your life is the nine of cups in reverse. This is emotional, more emotional apathy. It's it's about it's about emotional dissatisfaction. Okay, all right. The knight of cups. Knight of Cups, you are going to meet someone. There is going to be an interchange, an exchange, some kind of feels that are touched on, okay? The Two of Wands in reverse, you don't see this coming. You don't see it coming at all. You don't see it coming because in this mindset that we have back here, you're, you're, you've got that area shut down. That area of your mind, of your life is shut down because nothing ever worked before. What's to say anything is going to work in the future? I'm tired of men. I'm tired of women. I'm tired of them, they, there. I'm tired of everyone. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shut down, right? What you don't see coming is that there is a fantastic opportunity, love opportunity that is going to present itself to you. And you got to be in a position in your head and in your heart to be able to engage the fool because it's your path. It's your path. It's your purpose. It's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, communication, okay, that is going to put you in the trajectory of your best and highest good, okay? Why is it your best and highest good? Because if you will listen to the advice of your soul, and if your soul is connecting with this, this is meant for you, okay? That's the path of your best and highest good all the time, even when it's not what you want it to be. It's always the path of your best and highest good. Brand new beginning, brand new beginning, brand new journey, um, a leveling up of your spirituality because these cards, your soul, if this is ringing with you, is telling you, you need to address something about yourself because it's a, it's a cyclical kind of thing that can't produce what it is that you want to produce. What is that? It is compromising and a lack of self-worth, not worth it, imposter syndrome. The magician. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you think about, because what you think about comes about. Okay? The magician says this is manifesting. This is happening. This is trying to come through in your life. And how you level up will depend on the success of this relationship. Okay? What you think about comes about. It's manifesting. It's coming. It's happening. Get ready for it. Queen of Swords. We, needed, we need you to get your mind straight the Queen of Pentacles, and find your sense of self-worth. We need you to get your mind in the game, stop manifesting hopelessness, and begin to manifest a deep change within yourself to come to terms with, recognize, and realize that the way that you have chosen relationships in the past is not working for you because you have some kind of deep-rooted imposter syndrome happening. 
Mm -hmm. Let's talk about imposter syndrome for just a second. Let's talk about that because it's more of a big deal than people think it is. And I see it even in my own life as um, something that is hugely important, but people don't recognize it. What is imposter syndrome? Well, imposter syndrome is basically you don't feel worthy. You don't feel like you are, are worth success in any aspect or area, okay? Um, give you an example. For me, when I was growing up and I was a teenager, my dad, bless his heart, rest in peace, love him, he's here right now. I'm, I, I, I focus on this crystal with his high school ring on it that he made himself in shop class um, right before I was born because I was born to teenagers, okay? My dad, in his ignorance, said to me several times throughout my life, Dana, with the way that you look, you because back in the day I was hot, okay? Dana, the way that you look, you're not going to have to worry about much in life. The best thing that you can do is get married to someone that's going to take care of you and have kids. That is the best thing that you could ever do with your life is to get married um, and and be a wife to someone. And that has stuck with me forever. Not only has that stuck with me forever, but it has been the fire under my feet to not do that and not be that way. It has. And little did he know, not only did he fuck me up, but he also was the catalyst for my desire to achieve and succeed. Okay? So, when everybody in their childhood, you can trace all of your adult you can trace all of your adult issues back to mommy, daddy, and your childhood. Every single one of them, even if you had a good childhood, you can trace your adult issues back because our parents are human and humans suck and they are going to wound you somehow some way just as you will wound your children somehow some way. It's just unavoidable. Okay, it's just unavoidable. So, imposter syndrome, right? That was my was 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 my was my emotional wounding that created in me this gigantic imposter syndrome. I don't deserve any kind of success because I'm not worth anything outside of what my dad said. I could accomplish at a young age changes your brain right wires your brain in a certain way okay a lot of people have imposter syndrome for a lot of different reasons google it okay um, and it is a huge gigantic wounding that is very very detrimental in you understanding how valuable you are, how important your life is, and how your life has purpose, okay? Your life has purpose. Don't let what someone else said rewire your brain to the point that you, be that, that you believe that instead of believing in your true self, your soul self, your ancient self. The self that you've always been, the self that you will always be. When people come back in the cards, I don't channel it on purpose, but sometimes they do come through because there's a message that needs to be said. Um, and I leave the door open, right? I don't shut the door, but I don't actually go banging on the door either. I just don't, okay? When they come back through the cards, if they were funny when they were alive, they're funny in their soul. <laughs> they're funny in their spirit. They, if they were like real, real rigid and, and logical in their, uh, in their life here, they're real rigid and logical when they come back. The nuances of the personality that was here on this planet always comes through from a spiritual, ethereal kind of perspective. So you are the threads that your soul is sewn from. And someone has, to this person that I'm talking to, told you that you don't deserve somehow, some way, to be happy, successful, and emotionally fulfilled. 
Okay, Queen of Swords right here. Queen of Swords says, mm -mm, nope, 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 nope. Get your mind straight. Get your mind in the game. Believe what you want to believe about yourself. Judgment. And make a concrete, solid, serious decision about your life about your life, about who you are, where you came from, what this imposter syndrome is, and how it is that you need to proceed forward. Queen of Pentacles, again, know your worth, own your worth. You are worth a caring, loving, intellectually stimulating, inspiring, emotionally fulfilling, stable, steady, and secure relationship. And you do not have to compromise for anything less than exactly what you want in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore those red flags. And I don't care how good they look and smell and how smooth they're talking. If you got a red flag about someone, you close it down and you get up and leave. And that's just it because that red flag is your intuition trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. Find that place, own that place, own yourself, own your worth, and know that you are capable of engaging in a healthy, beautiful relationship once you deal with the imposter syndrome issue because that imposter syndrome is going to facilitate you settling for less than what it is you truly deserve. Queen of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. This is emotional codependency. Emotional codependency is someone that, that gives away an aspect of themselves in exchange for some kind of validation, okay? Heartbroken as well. But the emotional codependency leads itself to the imposter syndrome. It leads to someone who is compromising what? Emotional fulfillment, emotional connection, emotional understanding. They're compromising that in exchange for some kind of validation in their life. Nine of Pentacles in reverse comes on top of this and says, this is a waste of your time. Being in this energy, letting this ruminate in your mind, whoever told you what about anything about yourself and you believed it. You internalized it. It rewired your brain, right? It's a waste of time. Six of Swords says, leave the mental behind you. Leave the mental behind you to the lovers because there is an opportunity for you to step into a Queen of Pentacles to a King of Pentacles love relationship. Serious love relationship. And... It is the Nine of Cups, everything that you've ever wanted. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Started with judgment, ending with judgment. Second row, right? Book caps, right there, judgment and judgment. What do you have to do? You have to get your mind straight and step into the death transformation. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on Judgment Day, resurrect, resurrecting the dead from the grave. We start with death right there. The old cycle of the way that you have been doing things needs to come to an end. Total end. Nine of Swords. What's eating away at your mind about your identity and your sense of self-worth, anxiety, despair. I'm not good enough. I can't. I have, I have, I have whatever. You need to make some hardcore decisions on that and prepare to step into a transformation. Eight of Wands in reverse because it can't happen until you do. How it is that you step into this new relationship is either going to be brand new or it's going to be a repeating cycle. That's up to you. 
the king of cups in reverse. This is uh, emotional volatility. Look, we have the queen of cups in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. The king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the king of wands, the queen of wands, and the emperor and the empress in one reading. Crazy talk. There is a phenomenal relationship about to surface in your life. But your emotional volatility attracts emotional volatility. Like attracts like. Vibe attracts like. Frequency attracts frequency. Birds of a feather flock together, right? Your low vibrational emotional state of being because of your sense of self-worth attracts someone who needs to feed off of your lack of sense of self-worth. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands, and it's just the same cycle. Conflict, 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 conflict to the Hermit. Do some soul searching and some introspection about yourself. Deep, deep soul searching and introspection. Connect the dots back to your childhood and sew it together. Re-sew, unhem your life. Go back and connect the dots, unhem your life, find the root of it, and hem it back up again. Sew it the way that you want it to be. Soul searching, introspection with the hermit. Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Princess of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles talks about, I do believe, um, your current state of being. Whomever this is, is good. Okay, they don't need anybody else. They don't want anybody else. They like having things the way that they have it. And that goes back to the imposter syndrome as well, right? When I'm good by myself, nobody, nobody can take it away. Nobody can tell me I can't have it, that I'm not worth having it in whatever fucked up kind of way someone speaks to you. The words are sharp. Mm -hmm. They're sharper than the sword. Mm -hmm. So being alone and good and by yourself and solid and stable, just how you are, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and you don't want to open the door for that to be stripped from you. Okay. So your imposter syndrome has led you to yet another layer that you need to unwrap, which is hyper-independence. Hyper-independence. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you are alone and by yourself and good and solid and stable, um, you don't have to feel that you're not worth it. Right? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles says we need to pull this together and get you in a stable place. Ace of Cups. So there can be new love brought into your life. And this new love is going to be brought into your life by your own emotional growth, exploring the imposter syndrome and now the um, hyper independence. Okay. Princess of Cups in reverse, because this is not the ground that emotional attachment can take root. It's not. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is a card about coming out of the cold, coming out of a financial bind. Um, it's also a card about spiritual poverty. Okay, so what this Five of Pentacles is saying is that while you are in this spiritually low vibrational place, um, we can't we, 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 it's just not going to be as good as it should be. It's not going to be the way that it is intended to be if you can't participate. Ace of Pentacles, there's a brand new opportunity, Page of Swords, that's coming towards you. It is, and we got that Knight of Cups up here too, right? This is a meeting. Um, it's a meeting or um, some kind of connection or communication that lays the groundwork for a little bit of a deeper interconnection with the Knight of Cups, um, I think, um, a date. I do. A date. And there is a brand new opportunity. Look, King of Wands. We got the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck over here. Okay, right here. Can you see? Look. Queen of Wands. Okay? Queen of Wands. So... 
the king of wands. This is the person that's coming towards you. This king of wands is the same person as that king of wands right there, okay? Remember, you're the queen of pentacles throughout this entire reading. The queen of pentacles, okay? Holding, holding title, owning your worth, holding title. And what that does is it energetically attracts this king of pentacles, right? Because when you don't own yourself, when you don't know your self-worth, when you're the queen of cups in the center of the reading and emotionally codependent for validation for your existence from someone else, guess who you attract? Well, that king of cups in reverse that we were talking about a little while ago, right? You attract that. Owning yourself, owning your worth attracts the king of pentacles. It attracts the king of wands. It attracts people who are high vibing, high frequency, high achieving in whatever aspect that means for them, people into your life. Okay, so this King of Wands is inspirational. Um, um, he is the catalyst. Okay, and then death. This is the transformation. This is what they're trying to get you prepared for. They're trying to get you prepared for a very symbiotic, in sync, beautiful relationship. Uh huh. Two of Pentacles says balance this, prioritize this, make this important, make this, this advice here important in your life. The devil in reverse, so you can detach from your own toxicity as the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you can detach and come to terms with the attachment that is the restriction to your growth in your flesh which is your emotional codependency for validation that you are important. And you're willing to trade whatever to whomever if they give you a pat on the head and a kiss on the cheek and say, yep, you're important. Mm -hmm. Wheel in reverse. This is a blockage. It's a blockage to the way that is the path of your best and highest good. The universe wants to divinely orchestrate the steps of your life to take you directly to this relationship, but you will not allow them if your free will continues to ruminate on something that is not in your best and highest good. And those are the thoughts that run through your mind that are creating your reality about yourself your self-talk, your self-narrative. Look, the emperor in reverse. This is imposter syndrome. It is. It is. It's someone who feels unworthy of what it is that they truly desire and want in life in this particular situation with these cards around it. Seven of Pentacles says, rethink, take a step back and reassess and uh, reflect on what it is you are growing in your life. Six of Cups in reverse, because what you're growing has dead roots. This is stuck in the past. This past cycle, the past you, that's why death is here. That's why judgment is here twice. It's time to turn it over, acknowledge your issues, follow the dots back to where they started, and clean house. Sun in reverse, because you're not seeing clearly, four of swords in reverse, that it's occupying your mind. Four of wands in reverse, and it's creating a lack of what it is you truly want. The lovers, change your vibration, change your frequency, heal, because unhealed anything, unhealed mind, unhealed emotions, unhealed wounds, physical or otherwise, unhealed is low vibrational dying necrosis. Mm -hmm. And if you will heal this, you will change your vibration. True. That's what the lovers is about. Not only reiterating that this is a love relationship, but it's about who you're attracting. Who are you attracting with your frequency? Are you wounded and attracting wolves? Or are you healed and attracting a high vibration person into your life? Five of Cups in reverse, move on. Move on from the moon, from the struggle between that which you know to be true and what it is you do not want to accept as the truth. What, 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 do you don't want, what, what do you know to be the truth? Well, whoever this is for and whoever is vibing with this, you know this is your truth. What you don't want to accept as the truth is that this is your truth, right? See clearly, temperance in reverse, 
why things are imbalanced in your life, why relationships never worked to the world in reverse and stop repeating the same old cycle over and over and over again. The three of wands have some foresight, have some foresight, the Hierophant, because there is a significant committed relationship that is headed directly for you. However, are you going to continue to be foolish off course, not leveling up? Are you, are you going to, are you going to hear this feel this and not do anything about this because that would be foolishness. They want you to break free from a futile mentality to the Ten of Swords in reverse and bring healing, renewal, and regeneration to a mindset of despair, crisis, woundings, and loss. The Ace of Wands in reverse because it, it, it's blocking the manifestation of this relationship. The Empress, own it. See, you were the emperor in reverse back here, right? That's the imposter syndrome. I don't deserve it. I'm not worth it. The empress says, oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. When you stand in the empress energy, you understand that your mind creates your reality. You're going to go through all of this bullshit, clear this out of your mind, take accountability for your participation in relationships that failed, Connect the dots, heal yourself, and begin to vibe higher. You're going to follow your root soul understanding, and you're going to step into your power as the empress and create the kind of life that you want to create for yourself instead of thinking that you can't, that you don't deserve it, that you're to this or you're to that or you're to this or you're to that and all of the bullshit that everyone has created in your mind, clearing that out and seeing clearly Queen of Swords in judgment, seeing clearly that you do deserve it and you can have it the chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to get to where you need to go to a sword because you're at a real serious crossroads. You only have two choices in a two and swords being your mind, right? Air energy. You only have two choices. You will either change the way that you think about yourself or you won't. You will either change your internal narrative or you won't. And those are your only two choices, and that's why it's a serious crossroads. Princess of Swords, because there is communication coming to you, King of Cups, from a King of Cups in the upright. This person is the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. This person is the King of Cups in the upright. This person is the star, your path, and your purpose. This relationship, this growth, this diving in and cleaning out the mental bullshit that is, that is stealing your life from you. Mm -hmm. This relationship is your path and your purpose. It is renewal of you through the death process. Letting the old die and stepping through the threshold, through the portal, into a leveling up of your spirituality by digging in and healing that low frequency wounding inside of yourself. Five of Pentacles. Everything that I just said right there in that Five of Pentacles. Your insecurities. The Queen of Wands. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, be inspired, be, be, be motivated to change the direction of your life through your understanding of your sense of self-worth. Queen of Wands. And last card in this spread is the Ace of Swords. Aha, light bulb moment. It was up here too, right? Aha, light bulb moment. Take accountability. Call yourself out. Put an end to it all and do things differently in this new relationship. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.